Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, uh, let's make a comparison between two astonishing bikes for the 2023 season. So on one hand, we have a Cannondale Super 6 uh, Evo 2 road bike with a retail price of 5,500 US dollars. And on another hand, we have a giant uh, Propel advanced one road bike with the retail price of 6,000 US dollars. So in this episode, uh, I will go through all the you know specifications and the key points of each of the bikes. And then at the end, I will give you my opinion, which one of these two bikes should you just go ahead and buy. So, okay, we can kick off with explaining who is this bike for. So when you look at the Cannondale Super 6 Evo platform, it has always been a lightweight climbing machine. For this season, for the 2023, Cannondale has also incorporated a bit of aerodynamically optimized carbon fiber frame, fork, seat post, handlebar and the stem. And this is just the way that all these classical climbing bikes are going forward. On the other hand, when you look at the giant Propel platform, it has always been an aerodynamically optimized bike designed to go as fast as possible in a straight line and to minimize the drag. So a giant Propel platform, when it comes to carbon frame and the fork, has always been you know, aerodynamically optimized. Also, when you look at the Cannondale Super 6 Evo 2, you have two paint schemes on offer. One is this very classical, totally blacked out uh, paint scheme with a okay, little bit of hint of silver, they call it raw. And also you have this beautiful deep teal, so kind of metallic green with a hint of a bit uh, yellow and uh, purple, which I just uh, find beautiful, beautiful paint scheme on this uh, Cannondale Super 6 Evo. On another hand, when you look at the giant Propel Advanced one, there is only one paint scheme to choose from. It is this beautiful kind of metallic silver with a hint of black. But again, I'm a bit uh, disappointed here that uh, <clears throat> Giant didn't offer at least another paint scheme on this bike because after all, the retail price is 6,000 US dollars. <clears throat> now we can also have a look about the specifications of these two bikes and really see what are you getting for your uh, hard-earned money. As always, we can kick off uh, with the frame and the fork on both of these bikes. So when you look at the Cannondale Super 6 Evo, when it comes to the frame, it is a carbon fiber, Evo carbon fiber frame from Cannondale. It has, of course, the ready for the internal cable routing, a flat mount disc brakes and also here when it comes to the bottom bracket this is a classical uh, bsa threaded 68 millimeters bottom bracket also the 12 millimeter through axles both front and the back and when it comes to the fork again you are getting a carbon fiber evo carbon fiber fork uh, from cannondale all in i have absolutely no complaints about this uh, carbon frame and fork from cannondale and also keep in mind that you are getting a lifetime warranty on the carbon frames from cannondale on the other hand when we look at the giant uh, propel specifications specifically you know the frame and the fork so what do you get so the frame is a carbon fiber advanced grade composite uh, from giant and also the fork is the advanced grade composite fork with the full uh, carbon fiber steer. Again, the frame is ready for internal cable routing, flat mount disc brakes, and there are 12 millimeter through axles front and the back. And uh, here, the main difference is that this frame set from Giant uh, comes with the press uh, fit uh, bottom bracket. Also, I will mention that when it comes to Giant, you are also getting a lifetime warranty on their carbon frames. So to be honest, when you look at the Cannondale Super 6 uh, Evo frame and the Giant Propel carbon frame, there is not much in it. They are so close in the, in the specifications and the lifetime warranty. And as I said, the only main difference here is that <clears throat> Cannondale is offering you a classical threaded bottom bracket, which is of course going to be a bit easier to service and your <clears throat> mechanics is definitely going to like you. And here uh, with the giant uh, carbon frame, you will have a press uh, fit uh, bottom bracket. Okay, 
now we can have a look at the <clears throat> full drive train, the full group set on these two bikes. On Cannondale, you are getting uh, Shimano Tegra DI2 uh, electronic group set. So this is the latest, the greatest Shimano Tegra DI2. So everything from the shifters, front mech and rear mech, everything is a Shimano Tegra DI2 12 speed group set. Also here, the crank set, Shimano Tegra 5236, and the cassette, Shimano Azul Tegra 1130 cassette. And as I was mentioning, the, the bottom bracket is a threaded uh, Shimano's uh, bottom bracket, so absolutely fine and, and easy to service. So all in a Shimano Tegra DI2 group set is not a fully wireless group set because the shifters in the front mech communicate wirelessly, but then the front mech and the rear mech uh, have a, a wired connection. So just uh, keep that in mind. On another hand, when we look at the group set on the giant propeller bike, so what are we getting here? So here the whole group set is the SRAM rival ETAP wireless group set. So this is a fully wireless group set. So shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything communicates wirelessly. There's absolutely no cables here. And also when you look at the <clears throat> cassette, it's again a SRAM rival cassette, 1030 cassette, of course, 12 speed cassette paired with the SRAM rival chain and the crank set again, SRAM rival crank set. 35 48 uh, chain rings so here uh, the biggest difference is that i mean both of these group sets so a shimano tegra di2 or sram rival etap are just going to work perfectly fine as an electronic 12 speed group sets and really this is just now your personal preference if you really like shimano more then it's you know an easy decision or if you like a SRAM totally wireless group set you like this uh, purely clean look of your bike where there is no cables on the bike then of course you have to go with the SRAM uh, rival ETAP uh, wireless group set. I will only mention one thing here when you look at the SRAM rival cassette this 12 speed cassette one day when you need to replace it these cassettes can be a bit pricey they can usually cost you know somewhere in the region of 150 to 200 us dollars so just uh, keep that in mind again it's very hard to say here which of these electronic group sets is better they are so close to each other and in my opinion opinion it just comes to the point of do you like a totally clean look of your bike then okay it's a sram wireless group set or do you still prefer the shimano Zultegra di2 uh, electronic group set now let's look at the braking system on the bike. On the Cannondale Super 6 EVO, you are getting a Shimano's Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes with the Shimano's MT800 braking rotors. And here you have a combination of 160 millimeter braking rotors at the front and 140 millimeter braking rotors at the back. On the other hand, when you look at the a giant propeller bike, you are getting a SRAM rival ETAP hydraulic disc brakes front and the back with the SRAM uh, paceline rotors. And again, it's the combination of 160 millimeter rotor at the front, uh, at the front and 140 millimeter rotors at the back. Again, uh, it's so close in the braking performance here. I just can't say which one of these, you know, hydraulic disc brakes is better. The only thing, uh, from you know some of my experiences that i can say that i personally prefer the braking systems uh, from shimano but again they are so close here and both of these hydraulic disc brakes are going to work perfectly fine one thing that bothers me here on both of these bikes is the usage of 140 millimeter braking rotors at the back i don't know why bike manufacturers are doing it in in my opinion there's there's no point in doing that. They should all use 160 millimeter braking rotors front and the back because ultimately you want a good uh, stopping power. You want a good heat dissipation. There's no need to save any weight on the braking rotors. But that's just my opinion and I really have no clue why bike manufacturers are doing it. Okay, now let's move on to the wheel set on these bikes because now we have uh, first, I would say, big serious difference between these wheel sets. On one hand, you have uh, from the Cannondale Super 6 Evo, you have the Cannondale's own Hologram R45 carbon fiber wheel set, which is 50 millimeters deep, 21 millimeters is the inner width, and of course, the wheel set is tubeless ready. This wheel set uh, comes with the Hologram uh, sealed cartridge bearing hubs 
12 millimeter true axles both front uh, and the back and uh, the wheel set is wrapped in the Vittoria Robinho Pro 25 millimeter tires okay on another hand uh, the giant propel comes with the giant's own wheel set and this is the giant uh, SLR2 wheel set again a carbon fiber wheel set with uh, 50 millimeters uh, rim height and this uh, carbon fiber wheel set is of course tubeless ready and here the biggest difference is that it comes with the giant's own hookless uh, technology so giant is heavily promoting their hookless rim design and this is something that's a bit different uh, from the hologram wheel set uh, from the candle also here i will mention that with the giant uh, carbon fiber wheel set the inner rim width is 22.4 millimeters so a bit wider than the hologram wheel set and here uh, the giant own hubs uh, front and the back where the rear hub is a three pole system i'm guessing this is kind of based on some kind of dt swiss uh, design here and again uh, 12 millimeter two axles front and the back and the uh, sapin uh, aluminium spokes i'll just mention here that uh, giant is giving you a two years warranty on this uh, carbon fiber wheel set i couldn't find any data for the cannondale hologram wheel set what's the warranty of that carbon fiber wheel set and also the giant uh, carbon fiber wheel set uh, comes with the total weight of 1686 grams well uh, about the total weight i would also expect that the cannondale hologram wheel set is about the same you know weight of around 1600 1700 grams so again this is just the biggest difference of the giant hookless rim technology on their wheel sets both of them as i say tubeless ready and also i forgot to mention that the giant uh, wheel set uh, comes wrapped in the giant's own tires so giant uh, gavi course one tires and these are uh, 25 uh, 28 millimeters i'm sorry kind of in the uh, external width that's what giant is claiming so definitely with these uh, with these kind of tires on these rims it seems to me that you might have a little bit more volume although these tires technically are rated as a 25 c tire but again you know not much difference here i would say between these uh, giant gavia tires or a classical uh, vittoria rubinho pro maybe maybe i would mention here that vittoria rubinho pro should be a bit more uh, supple tire okay so now let's talk about some of the smaller components on the bike like the handlebar and the stem so when you look at the cannondale bike you are getting a vision trimax uh, carbon handlebar which is paired with uh, cannondale's own aluminium stem uh, it's totally fine here that the stem is aluminium and what i like here that both of these parts are separate nothing proprietary here easy to adjust your position on the bike and easy to replace in the future if needed on the other hand when we look at the giant uh, handlebar and the stem handlebar is the giant contact sl arrow and the same stuff goes with the giant contact sl arrow stem but these two pieces are aluminium pieces from giant uh, both of them are separate pieces again nothing is uh, proprietary here easy to replace easy to upgrade but definitely i will mention here that cannondale is offering you a carbon fiber handlebar while the giant setup is an aluminium pieces for both handlebar and the stem now when we see at the seat post and the cell with the cannondale cannondale's own carbon fiber seat post paired with the pro logo dimension cell and on the other hand with the giant we are talking about the giant's own carbon fiber seat post paired with the giant fleet sl cell there's not much in it here uh, both of them carbon fiber seat post which is excellent aerodynamically optimized and definitely these uh, seat posts are going to soak up some of the smaller road bumps and the only thing i can mention here with the saddles is that uh, i have used some of the pro logo saddles totally fine for, for me uh, giant fleet saddle i haven't used it so i can't comment too much but again saddles usually a personal preference so again uh, very easy to replace uh, in the future with some extras on the bike giant is offering you a computer mount uh, water bottle cages and the uh, view set is uh, tubeless ready tubeless prepared and with the cannondale you are going to get their cannondale's wheel sensor which can pair with any onboard computer to measure 
all your you know speed distance time all the parameters with your bike ride so all in when you look at these two bikes so as i said canada super six evo 2 with the retail price of five and a half thousand us dollars or the giant uh, propel advanced one with the retail price of six thousand us dollars which one of these bikes would i suggest you to go ahead and just buy it well considering all the things that we have just discussed and the retail price i still believe that the cannondale super 6 evo 2 is just a better value for money at 5500 us dollars and i'm still surprised how cannondale for the 2023 season has made such an excellent package in this evo 2 bike so definitely if it's my money on the line i would definitely go with the cannondale super 6 evo 2 at 5500 us dollars so i think this is going to be it uh, for today i hope you like what i'm doing and if you do keep on watching keep on liking and as always i will see you soon in the next episode cheers